he'd do that? Yes. He will not fail. He must not. It would kill him. Yeah, well, he's killing us trying to pull off that Barney Miller look. It's quite disturbing, you know. Quite disturbing. Yes, yes, quite disturbing. Not as bad as when he tried to look like fish. Since Janusz is trying to show us something from many years ago, we thought we'd catch you up on some slightly more recent history of my public appearances. Do you really want to go out in public like that? I have to. At Chicago's C2E2 Comics and Entertainment Convention, we always encounter many unusual subjects, but only one king. There's a friend of mine that I get to see in person every once in a while, even though I see him just about every week on WWE programming. It's the WWE Hall of Famer, my friend Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry, always great to see you. Spigouli, it's great to see you. It's always great to be here with you. Am I really your friend? I think so, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking you. <laughs> no, of course you are. <laughs> well, and you. I'm honored to be your friend. And one of the things I love when you're doing commentary is the jokes that you throw out. You are so funny. My favorite one from a few weeks ago was, I believe a Adam Rose was out with his Adam Rose, Rose. yeah, the Rose Bugs. And you were looking around at all these people in odd costumes, and you said, if idiots could fly, this place would be an airport. That's exactly right. And as a matter of fact, that goes for right here, right now, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not allowed to say that, but yeah. Well, you know, it's been good. All I hope is that I live to be as old as my jokes, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll be in good shape. And we love your artwork. I've always told you how much I admire it. And that was one of the ways you got into wrestling as well, wasn't it? It was. I started drawing pictures of wrestlers and, and sent them into the local TV station. That's how I first got to meet, and in person, the first uh, professional wrestlers. One of them named Jackie Fargo had a restaurant in Memphis. He was a big star wrestler, and he owned a nightclub, and he, he saw my artwork, and he invited me over to draw pictures of him all over his walls. He was, a, <laughs> he was quite the narcissist, I, I believe. But anyway, that's how I got my foot in the door there as well. And speaking of that... Uh-oh. I just have a little piece of artwork that I did last night of my all-time favorite wrestler. I did this myself, Let's Sven see. Gulley. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That's oh, I your favorite that was, wrestler? I thought that was a picture of you. Wait a minute. <laughs> We're on MeTV, and you have a tie-in to several of our Saturday night uh, stars, including William Shatner. You did something with him. Well, William Shatner, of course, uh, was is a good friend of mine. He came all the way from Hollywood to Detroit, Michigan in 2007 to personally induct me in the Hall of Fame. He and I did a, uh, he and I did a bit years ago on, uh, on Monday Night Raw when he was promoting, I think, a show called Tech Wars. How many shows has William Shatner had? About, uh, about 700,000. <laughs> anyway. He was doing tech wars, and, and uh, I brought him out to the ring, and I interviewed him in a thing called the King's Court. And um, it, it, I'll never forget, I, I really wanted to get the alien monkey flip that I'd seen him do to all of these uh, creatures on, on Star Trek. And so he was kind enough to actually give me a monkey flip and throw me out of the, out of the ring. And so then he came back in 2007, and he said, I'm here to monkey flip the King right into the Hall of Fame. So that was, that was cool. And, of course, we run Batman with Adam West, oh, and you didn't, favorite. you didn't angle with him, too, didn't you? I did. As you see, I still wear, I still wear a Batman watch today, nice. and, uh, yeah, this was, this was back in the early 70s. Uh, we had uh, Adam West came to town to be a part of, like, a, an event like this. He was doing, uh, going around doing the World of Wheels custom car sure, shows, yeah, okay. had the Batmobile there, and uh, so we had him come on our wrestling show one Saturday morning, and he was there, of course, to promote, uh, to promote the car show, and I was there, of course, just to try to get the rub off Adam West, my all-time favorite Batman, and so we had a little conversation. I came out wearing a Super King outfit, and uh, it, it really hilarity ensued, if you ask me. I mean, I thought it was funny. But you can go on YouTube and just just uh, type in Batman meets the King. You actually own your own Batmobile. I do. I, you know what? I, I, I was doing a show very similar to this, a comic convention in Knoxville, Tennessee, sitting right across from my table, uh, 10 feet away, was the Batmobile, right? And so people are coming up, and I'm just sitting there looking at the Batmobile, bringing back all these old memories, and I finally went over to the guy and I said, hey, you want to sell that Batmobile? And uh, I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. The next week, he put it on the back of a truck, drove it all the way down, parked it in my parked it in my garage, and it's still there today. That is absolutely amazing. You know, we see you every week on SmackDown, and of course on all the pay-per-views. Yes. And Jerry, it's always a pleasure to meet with you here. Well, Spin Gooley, it's always a pleasure to be on your show. Thank you so much, and uh, Thanks for letting me borrow your crown earlier. Okay, give me one of my lousy jokes. Can you remember any? <laughs> I, now I've seen one it, I just to mind every time I see this guy. The last time I saw something that looked like him, I flushed it. Oh! <laughs>